What's up guys, welcome back to Modern Mining. Well, recently I've had a lot of new comments and new channel viewers from the rig builds that I've been doing. And there's a common theme that I get a lot of comments saying that mining isn't worth it or mining man's no financial sense. And those people may have a little bit of a point, but there's a lot of stuff that people are overlooking when they don't look at the whole picture of crypto mining or specifically GPU mining. So today in this video, I want to go over the mathematics of mining, why I think it's still a good venture to get into, even if profitability is relatively low. So let's get into it. Today's video is brought to you by Crypto Miner Bros. 2025 is going to be an electric year for crypto mining. Right now might be the last time to get a good deal on ASIC miners before the prices start to rise. Crypto Miner Bros has all the most profitable ASICs from the most popular brands, including Jazz Miner, Ice River, Bitmain. The price you see is the final price you pay. No hidden fees or customs, which is super nice. Use code MODERN to get $70 off every item in your cart regardless of price. I'll leave links down below to my favorite miners and with that let's get back into it. So when you boil it down to the very basics I basically look at crypto mining as dollar cost averaging into very speculative assets. You're essentially buying a machine or a GPU or building a machine to do that dollar cost averaging for you and that machine is going to have some upfront cost. Now the overall goal is to eventually acquire more crypto than the cost of that machine and then you've sort of broken even and everything after that is purely profit. Now where I think a lot of people go wrong is they see the cost of a $1,000 machine and see that it makes $1 a day and that it's going to take three years to make back that investment and they say, oh, that's just totally not worth it. Well, one thing to keep in mind is that if you were to put $100 into the stock market, you're not going to expect $100 back within three years. The average rate of return is anywhere from 7 to 10%, which could be anywhere from like 7 to 10 years to actually make that investment back. Now, granted, you didn't spend that money, but still, a GPU mining rig making its money back in three years, that's pretty good in almost all forms of investing. When you buy a house for $100,000, you're not going to make $100,000 on rental income in the first three years. It's going to take a little bit. So what I specifically like about mining is that it lets you get into very risky, speculative, small market cap crypto assets relatively risk-free. And people are gonna say, how does that make any sense that you can get into these very risky assets relatively risk-free? Well, that's where the mining stuff comes into play. So let's take my mining farm as an example. I spent essentially $12,000 on my mining farm and I've acquired, if we take a look at my portfolio here, about $8,000 worth of cryptocurrency over the past year. So in my opinion, that's pretty good. I've already almost made back two thirds of what I spent on my mining rig in a single year. Now that's discounting the cost of power, which in my case was around $3,500. So still about $4,000 worth of profit. But to prove my point here, let's say that I took that $12,000 and just bought Zealous with it. Zealous is the coin I've been mining for the last six months. I'm very high up on Zealous, so I definitely like it. But if I had wanted to just get into these speculative assets instead of mining them and I just bought them, let's see what that would look like. So if we go to Zealous and look at its price from the last year, if I had bought anywhere in the first couple months of Zealous existence, I would be down essentially 66 percent on my investment. So I would have turned my $12,000 into $4,000, which you may say, okay, so you would have $4,000 and your current mining after power, you have about $4,000. But the difference there is that I still have all of that hardware on the mining side. I can essentially sell all of my GPUs and ASICs and get close to that $12,000 investment back, which means the buying side, I only have 4K to my name. And technically on the crypto mining side, I have 16K to my name. Now being able to sell your crypto mining hardware for what you bought it for is definitely not a rule of thumb and it takes careful planning to be able to do that. Uh, I know Death Valley Mining says that when you're buying stuff to flip or when you're buying assets, the money is made at the purchase price, not what you sell it for. And I had never heard that before he said it, but honestly, it's so true. 
That's why I always make sure when I'm buying my GPUs or any other mining hardware that I'm looking for the very best price possible to where I think even if things go downhill, I can always still at least sell that asset and make back most of the money. And so to prove that, I have 43 GPUs in my farm right now and I've given them basically very low ball prices on if I did wanna sell all my GPUs right now, how much money could I get for them? And you can see I can make back about $8,600. Now that's definitely below the 12K number and that's because I have a couple other ASIC miners as well, which probably accounts for about $2,000 extra. So still, if I sold all my hardware, I could make back $10,600. Now, just to show you that these prices are realistic, I'm saying that I could sell 3070s for $200. And if you go on eBay and look, the current listings right now for used GPUs are about 250 to 260. And then you pay the eBay fees. I would definitely be able to get $200 a pop. And the reason those numbers work out like that is because I spent a lot of time finding good bulk deals for GPUs so that I was always getting good prices to get going. And so that kind of whole theory sums up a lot of the mathematics of mining for me is that it gives me a relatively risk-free way to acquire a lot of these small coins because I have that thought in the back of my head where I can always sell my hardware if things go wrong. And so I can basically trade my power cost plus a little bit of profit on top to get these smaller coins. And I don't have the risk of just buying all those smaller coins and having that crazy risk that they could go 99% down in a day looking at you, Pyron, or even a 50% drop like a lot of these coins have done in the past 50 days. So another thing that people fail to look at is the profitability numbers. They only look at what today's profitability looks like. They don't look at what it looks like if the coin 10X is in a few months from now. And really that's where the profit from GPU mining comes from. It's not from the 50 cents that you're making every single day. It's those coins that you're holding and they go 10X then you're essentially making $5 every single day or even crazier than that. If your farm's making 20 bucks a day in the coin 10 X's, then boom, it's like you're making $200 per day. So you have to think of it as what is my mining profitability at the value of the coin in the future. And that only applies if you're holding the coins that you mine, which I definitely recommend at least holding 50% of the coins you mine um, and maybe switching the other 50% into Bitcoin. Or if you wanna go full risk, hold 100% of what you mine and that's definitely gonna have a lot higher profit potential, but certainly a lot more risk because those coins could go to zero. A couple other just fun bonuses to think about that a lot of people don't realize when they watch their first crypto mining video is the benefits that crypto mining provides in the winter time. For me personally, I'm saving over $150 per month on my heating bill because I'm using my GPUs and ASIC miners to heat my house. And so that's basically a $600 profit per year that I wouldn't have without crypto mining. So that all compounds as well into the sort of financial benefits of crypto mining. And then one of the last things is that crypto mining is also not all about profits. At the end of the day, crypto mining is to me, sort of like a hobby that has the potential to make you money. Now, it's not going to make you rich overnight or even rich in a sort of quick time frame. To me, it's more of a get rich slow scheme where it's just a fun hobby where I can always be messing around with computers in the garage, building crazy rig shelves and exhaust fans in the garage and all this uh, stuff that I do to keep my farm up and running well. But at the same time, it's also making me a profit. And there's definitely not a lot of hobbies that can say are fun hobbies that also make you money. In my opinion, the majority of hobbies are definitely money sinks, hunting, fishing, cars, you gotta buy all this stuff that you're using the hobby for and there's generally not a lot of profit potential unless you're like flipping the cars or filming yourself going hunting, fishing. There's just not as much opportunities to make revenue streams from your other hobbies whereas crypto mining, the whole sort of thing is about revenue streams. So in summary, crypto mining profits definitely don't look that great at a first glance. But when you kind of dig into it a little bit more, things are not as bad as they look, especially when you consider being able to write off your power costs and write off the assets that you're purchasing, like your miners. All that stuff kind of goes into making these profit numbers look a little better than they actually look on paper. 
especially if you extrapolate out to when the coin is a higher value in the future, things start to look a lot better. But to me in general, I like that it gives me a relatively risk-free way to accumulate very small market cap altcoins that have huge profit potentials. Because personally, I'm very risk adverse and I would never go and put $4,000, $5,000 on a super small market cap crypto, except when I did on the Oxa, but we're not gonna talk about that. Um, generally, I would never do that. I would only mine them and that way I can always sell my mining equipment if I need to, to recoup that initial investment and everything on top is profit. So thanks for coming to my TED Talk. If you want to learn more about crypto mining as an investment versus a hobby, check out this video. And as always, thanks for watching.